everyone welcome to this special edition of Rajya Sabha Television on peak plastic pollution the theme for World Environment Day 2018 plastic this inexpensive versatile and light product enters our everyday lives in various forms but our over reliance on plastic can have severe environmental consequences plastic that ends up in ocean can encircle earth four times in a single year and it can persist up to 1000 years before it fully degenerates plastic can seem all pervasive at times from food packaging and storage to flooring in household goods plastic is everywhere it is a synthetic polymer deriving its name from the greek word plastikos which means fit for molding it was invented in 1869 by john w hayat responding to a new york firm's offer of 10000 dollars for anyone who could provide a substitute for ivory Subsequent years have seen chemical companies develop many new polymers and different types and grades of plastic According to the United Nations Environment Program people around the world produce nearly 300 million tons of plastic every year of that as much as 13 million tons finds its way into the oceans wreaking havoc on marine ecosystems the pollution costs up to 13 billion dollars per year in environmental damage Each World Environment Day is organized around a theme that focuses attention on a particularly pressing environmental concern. The theme for 2018, Beat Plastic Pollution, a clarion call for all to combat one of the great environmental challenges. The theme invites us all to consider how we can make changes in our everyday lives to reduce the heavy burden of plastic pollution. Drive against plastic pollution will gain momentum from India. the global host of world environment day 2018 india is a global leader it's uh, one of the largest economies in the world it is showing the way to the world on a variety of issues innovation solutions problem solving technologies and plastic menace is becoming a big problem globally and india has this environmental leadership mantle where they should tell the whole world how are they tackling this problem But before we talk about recycling plastic, let's talk about different kinds of plastic. Of the seven different types of plastic, some are more dangerous than the others. It's a good idea to avoid or limit or even completely shun the ones on the negative list. Take a look. Type 1 plastic is PET. PET is one of the most commonly used plastics in consumer products and is found in most water and pop bottles. It is recyclable and is intended for single use applications. Repeated use increases the risk of leaching and bacterial growth. Type 2 plastic is high density polyethylene which is easily recycled and is used in milk jugs, detergent and shampoo bottles. Type 3 plastic PVC is found in plumbing pipes, tiles, windows and medical equipment. PVC is seldom recycled. It contains harmful chemicals linked to a variety of ailments. Type 4 plastic is low density polyethylene. It is considered less toxic than other plastics and is used in food bags, baby bottles and reusable drink and food containers. Type 5 plastic is polypropylene used in syrup bottles, medicine bottles and is relatively less toxic. Type 6 plastic is polystyrene used in rigid foam drink cups, food containers and egg containers. and is also known to be carcinogenic. 
Type 7 plastic can be a variety of plastics, making it hard to determine their safety standard. 90% of plastics are actually not recyclable. So, uh, but there are some plastics, especially which we use in everyday life. For example, single-use plastic, like you know, your uh, disposable cutlery, uh, the ones you pick up at restaurants, like the plastic forks and spoons, the lunch boxes which are made of thermocol, your pet bottles and uh, cups that you drink coffee in, something which you just pick up a coffee on the go and you take it in a disposable cup which actually looks like paper but is wax lined so it becomes a non-recyclable product. So all these things are extremely dangerous. Just take a look around. You will definitely find several items of plastic that are useless. However, these things can be recycled and reprocessed into useful items. Moreover, recycling has plethora of benefits. The plastic does not decay. It sticks around in the environment. Worldwide, only 14% of plastic is collected for recycling, while the rest stays in the environment, causing pollution both on land and in ocean. Recycling of plastic is therefore extremely important, and waste management systems and product design explicitly need to facilitate plastic recycling. Recycling is done through three steps. These steps include gathering and processing waste materials and objects, manufacturing new products out of useless things and buying objects that are manufactured through recycled materials. The simplest meaning of recycling is to reuse any product again to avoid making new products. Recycling is an eco-friendly process which decreases waste and helps us in making our environment healthy. There are many places where plastic is used where we have got good alternative materials. The simplest one is when you go to the market, why do you need a new plastic bag every time? All of us have cloth bags. If we don't, I think it's much better to provide people with cloth bags instead of using plastics. Consequently, this is one area where plastics can be completely removed. Almost 60% of the plastic produced in India is recycled. India also recycles 90% of its pet waste, outperforming Japan, Europe and US. The government now aims to balance the remaining 40% so that we recycle almost all the plastic produced in the country. India has the highest recycling rate for PET, a kind of plastic used for manufacturing drinking water bottles and food containers. Out of 900 tons of PET made in India annually, 65% is recycled at registered facilities, 15% in the unorganized sector and 10% is reused at homes. Did you know that the jersey of Indian cricket team is made up of recycled plastic? Well, the fabric of jersey of men in blue is just one example of how plastic could be recycled to make useful products. 46 deliveries, it has to be a magical chase. Bottom hand, it's found the gap as well. What is striking, and not many people are aware, that the entire Indian cricket team's apparel for the 2015 World Cup was made from recycled pet bottles. Even their current jersey is made from this material. See an opportunity to pick up the second no. Pet recycling business has a turnover of 3,500 crore rupees per annum in India, and the end product sells at anywhere between 50 to 110 rupees per kg. The government has notified the Plastic Waste Management Rules 2016, suppressing the earlier Plastic Waste Management and Handling Rules 2011. The new rules are more stringent than the previous rules. The minimum thickness of plastic carry bags has been increased from 40 microns to 50 microns. The producers, importers and brand owners need to establish a system for collecting back the plastic waste generated due to their products. 
one cannot say that whatever we have written in the rules have been implemented. I would not hesitate to say that they are over ambitious. But we have been in the last three months in constant dialogue with the industry to find out what is the convenient middle path which we can take in order to have an impact. For example, on the extended producer's responsibility, we have been having constant dialogue on trying to see where we can ban plastics. Some states have come forward and done that. So, it is an implementation issue like any other issue, but we are in touch with all stakeholders. Time for a short break. On the other side, the journey from useless to useful. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You are watching our special edition on beat plastic pollution. After one use, plastics are discarded and land up at dumping grounds and people are not aware of its recyclable benefits. But if you are a recycling enthusiast or an aspiring recycling entrepreneur, then a colossal opportunity beckons you. Take a look at some of the inspiring stories and how they are converting your trash into their cash. Meet Ram Kocher, a young entrepreneur. There's one thing that every successful business has in common, a great idea. And Ram just thought of that. Your plastic waste has yielded a turnover of more than 100 crore rupees for his plastic recycling company. With his dedicated team, he has been able to produce Food Grade Recycled Pet or RPET, the only Indian company to achieve this benchmark. His company buys discarded soft drinks and water bottles made from PET and recycles them back into food grade plastic pellets. This idea came to me in England. Then we got into the research of plastics. Then we chose the line of plastics because it had a lot of potential in India. It had a huge potential in India. Plastic, when it is recycled, it saves 3.8 barrels of oil. One metric ton of plastic which is reproduced saves about 3.5 CO2 emissions, which is definitely a very higher amount. For successful plastic recycling models, it is important to have robust collection mechanisms. And there are innovative initiatives for that as well. Throw Trash, Save Cash is the theme of Delhi-based startup Zeleno. This reverse vending machine allows you to easily dispose of your plastic pet bottles. It automatically accepts the trash and crushes them to be recycled later. It then generates an instant reward for the trash disposed and creates a receipt which can be redeemed at the chosen outlets. If we put this machine in this bottle, we जिस एरिया में ये मशीन लगा हुआ होगा वहां पे लोकल वेंडर से टाई अप होंगे जैसे स्विगी है उस पे हम 33% का डिस्काउंट देते हैं और नींबू पानी उस पे 3 रुपीस ऑफ देते हैं और कपड़े वाले उस पे 20% ऑफ देते हैं तो जैसे-जैसे लोग बढ़ते जाएंगे वैसे हम क्वांटिटी भी बढ़ाते जाएंगे और उसके साथ में हम एक पॉकेट डायरी भी देते हैं द एवर इवॉल्विंग स्टार्टअप स्पेस कपल्ड विद टेक्नोलॉजिकल इनोवेशन हैज लेड टू द क्रिएशन ऑफ वेरियस बिजनेस मॉडल्स एंड वेंचर्स दैट आर ट्रूली यूनिक एंड आर हार्बिंगर्स ऑफ सोशल चेंज फॉर इंस्टेंस India has already constructed kilometers of roads using plastic waste. India is one of the few countries making use of recycled plastic in road construction. In fact, a government order in November 2015 made it mandatory for the road developers in the country to make use of plastic waste alongside bituminous mixes for road construction to overcome the growing problem of disposal of plastic waste. Plastic adds to the longevity of roads by making them water resistant and also increases the resistance of roads to change in weather. But for truly beating the plastic pollution, we need to segregate waste at source. The source of course is your own home and your own office.
लोगों से ये चाहता हूँ कि गीला कूड़ा अलग हो सूखा कूड़ा अलग हो और जो प्लास्टिक होता है गत्ता होता है उसमें से जो भी कंच होता है वो अलग हो सुई वगैरह अलग हो और जो डब्बा प्लास्टिक है वो अलग हो और ज़्यादा करके पन्नी तो होता है वो पन्नी भी अलग हो क्योंकि वो हम लोग जो कूड़े के साथ मिक्स हो जाता है तो वो हम लोग रिसाइल करने नहीं भेज सकते बच्चे लोगों का हाथ कट जाता है या जो बूढ़े औरत जो भी जाते हैं उनका हाथ कट जाता है पैर कट जाता है और उसमें से जो महक आता है उसमें कैंसर का बीमारी ज्यादातर के होता है टीबी का बीमारी होता है अकॉर्डिंग टू यू एन एस्टिमेट एवरी ईयर दर्ल्ड यूजेस फाइव हंड्रेड बिलियन प्लास्टिक बैग्स ईच ईयर एटलीस्ट एट मिलियन टन ऑफ प्लास्टिक एंड अप इन दिन दिल ऑफ अल गार्बेज ट्रक एवरी मिनट China recently moved to ban the import of 24 types of solid waste including plastic. Britain's 25-year environment plan has a specific target of eliminating avoidable plastic waste by 2024. Norway not only recycles all of its plastic but also imports waste from other countries to run its waste to energy plants in india 17 states and union territories have imposed complete ban on manufacture sale and use of plastic carry bags the government is also organizing a series of engaging activities and events generating strong public interest and participation from pan india plastic cleanup drives in public areas national reserves and forests to simultaneous beach cleanup activities india will lead the initiative by setting an example It's not important that what we received in legacy. It's important what we'll be leaving as a virasat, and that responsibility, India knows about this. We have to have a win-win situation with the nature, and the mother nature we have to respect it. Plastic we should understand that it is a non-biodegradable item. We have to reduce its use. At the root of these visionary solutions. is the human behavior towards plastic awareness and knowledge will create an intent which when supported with efficient waste management systems has the capacity to yield remarkable economic and environmental benefits for our country 3 r's hold the key reduce reuse and recycle It is an opportunity for all of us to embrace measures that help combat plastic pollution globally. We just have to develop eco-friendly consumption habits, and we don't have to wait for World Environment Day every year for it. Start today and save tomorrow. Well, that's all we have for you in this edition from the entire team of RSTV. Thanks for watching.